So in this video, I am going to be doing something different that I've never done before. I am going to be designing a holiday greeting, first using the Wacom, and then I'm gonna challenge myself to do the same design using a mouse. So the mouse is gonna have an unfair advantage because I'll have already designed the holiday greeting with the Wacom, so it should be easier and faster theoretically. So we're gonna see which one does better. And I have my whole holiday, decorations and set up to get me in the vibe. So we're gonna jump in. Okay, so it's 10.20 a.m. I'm gonna time myself, so we're gonna get started. All right, so I have my sketches in front of me of what I was laying out concepts. So I go into InDesign and now I'm putting together the color palette. I'm gonna use the greens and reds and I'm also gonna have some sort of golds with it. So I'm putting my background of the green and then I'm gonna go to Illustrator to actually draw the different elements. So I'm putting the leaf together and I am going to be drawing the different components. I have this concept of having this elements around the whole, like bordering it, and then there's gonna be the greeting message in the middle. So I prefer Illustrator for design, for drawing, because it has more of a smooth line when you're just using the pencil, and I like to freehand. I don't really like to use stick stuck shapes. So now I'm importing into InDesign. What the cool thing is they're both vector programs, so you can literally just copy and paste from one to the other, from Illustrator to InDesign. And now I'm, I'm copying and pasting the overall uh, different elements and I'm gonna put them at the top so that it has this whole border effect. Then I'm putting the holidays in the middle and I want it to be gold, not that bright uh, yellow. So I'm testing different cold colors and I'm gonna create a gradient swatch to have it give it the shimmer. And then I'm gonna have around it just wishing you the happiest of. So it'll say wishing you the happiest of holidays and that's gonna be kind of curved around it so that the main focus is holidays, but uh, that wishing you the happiest is there. And I adjusted the color a little bit on the background. I also am adding in these kind of twinkle lights. It could be snow, could be magic, could be just some elements to give it more of a holiday looking vibe and I'm just putting them, copy pasting them all around the card. And yeah, I'm just adjusting the colors, kind of giving it instead of that, there's different ways to do the gradients and I wanna have it so the, the light is in the middle, so it has this cool shimmer gold effect. So there we have the design. Okay, so I finished. So that took me 22 minutes to design it from scratch and I have my greeting, my holiday greeting. So now I'm going to start completely from scratch. I'm not gonna use any of the color palettes, anything from this one, none of the design assets. So I'm gonna put away my lovely Wacom and oh, oh goodness, we're gonna start with this. So it is 1045, let's see how long it takes to design this with my mouse. I'm not enjoying this. And although it's hard, I still need to get through. So again, I'm going around and just drawing the different points, making it so that it has these borders. I find it really hard to draw curves naturally. So they kind of look on the, on the little berries on the bottom right, kind of look like little stick things just popping out instead of like nice curves like I had on the other one. Now I get to just copy paste, which makes it a bit easier. And uh, now I'm doing the type. It's kind of annoying to have to keep taking my hand off the mouse and going and typing, whereas I can just always with my Wacom use the pen and go over to my keyboard. You can't really do that when you have a mouse. It's too clunky. So I don't like that aspect of this, but gotta get through. So now I have to do all these circles and move all over the place to create that snowy, magical look. This should be taking me much faster since I just designed the whole thing, but it's actually pretty tedious. So here you have the Original one that was done with the Wacom and the final one from the mouse. I think they 
are not equal. They should be equal, but the Wacom I feel is better. It's more controlled. It looks just nicer. So there you have it. I'd love to know which one you like better. Okay, so that was extremely challenging. I really disliked using this. I not only dislike the way that it feels to work with it, but this constant clicking. I don't know how people can enjoy working with the clicking. I missed my Wacom very dearly. And if you realize it took 22 minutes to do the first design with the Wacom, but that included figuring out the color palette and laying things out. Usually then when I do redo a design, it's a quarter of the time, but this was about the same amount of time. And I don't think it did as good of a results. There's things, just jagged edges, things that just didn't do as well because it's kind of like writing with my left hand when I'm a right-handed person. So that's what I felt drawing with this and laying out the type and such. So anyway, I would be love to hear your opinion. Do you prefer a Wacom or a mouse? And I'd love to know why. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. And as always, keep creating. I so much appreciate each one of you and I had fun doing this challenge even if it was very hard. So thanks, thanks again.